Hello folks, welcome to the Tuesday forecast and let's get started with looking at the market. So first we start with the euro and the US dollar which is still ranging. So nothing, nothing clever to say here. It's just stuck in a huge range and I'm looking for that large impulse up or a large impulse down. Really simple stuff and nothing new. So it has been ranging for what a two months now or something like that which is pretty normal for for eu there are a really really small number of trades on it and usually price just ranges in these huge huge periods and then we get a maybe nice push like this so a nice drop or a nice push to the upside so nothing more to say uh, there is no point in focusing more on this particular pair now for the euro and the japanese yen so let me just move the lines. This one is looking that it has broken out of the range. So we, we were stuck in a range prior. Let me just add the most recent high line right here. So yeah, so we were stuck in this range right here. We pushed up, created a huge wick, retraced, pushed up, broke the high, retraced. And currently what I'm looking out for here is... Um, well, this has started to ascend, so I'm looking for a reversal, to be honest. I'm looking for something like this, then a nice drop to get a nice push down, or maybe a nice descending from here. To be honest, I would not take a descending, because then it would just kind of be, stu be stuck in a range and go from an ascending into a descending structure. So I'm just, just expecting to get a larger range at this point, because we broke the high retrace broke the high retrace again not really a large breakout out of the range i am expecting this but what i would like to see in order to look for trades so i would like to see it push up and then a nice flag so a push up get a nice flag or a nice push down like this and then get a nice drop to a downside get a nice flag to go short uh, but nothing nothing uh, nothing good here so this just looks very range bound and we see wicks everywhere wicks to the upside wicks to the downside two huge wicks right here so let's just move on so now for the aussie us dollar uh, i do actually have a currently a pending order at this level level right here so what i'm seeing what i was seeing before let me actually replay it i was seeing this nice push up so we did get a nice push we broke the high pushed up but then we got double wicks so at that point i was looking for a range and then we got kind of an aggressive retrace which i personally mistaken for maybe an aggressive retrace or i was reading it wrong because i did uh, find out that my mentor did have a pending order at this inside bar right here and then he waited for a range after this for me personally, I was staying out because I saw double wicks and then aggressive retreats, but he was waiting for range and then he got tagged in, I think, by this candle right here and is now in profit. So since I want to be taking the, t the same trades as him and really want to narrow it, narrow it down that I look at the market in the same way, I did now place a pending order. So maybe I do get tagged in at this point from the same level as him. We will see. So at first this did not fit my plan, but by looking at uh, at his recap and his explanation, I actually do like this trade. So if I get tagged in, then uh, it will actually be part of my plan. Um, and let's see what happens. So if it breaks the high, of course, it will be invalid. But currently I'm expecting for it to range a bit more since we did, did get double wicks right here. I'm expecting to get maybe something like this and then maybe it will continue to the upside so if it just breaks the high and does not tap me in i will look to get in on a nice flag further up and then it would be a nice established trend to the upside maybe a nice flag or a break and retest whatever we get if we start to ascend then i know that the trend to the upside is not exist uh, does not exist and i will look for a reversal down if we start to just a second if we start to descend like this i will look for that reversal to the upside and then a nice flag to buy long so not really much to say here to sum up i have a pending order uh first this, this, this did not fit my plan then i saw the explanation from our mentor and pending order is on let's see if i get tagged in 
So this is a, a common characteristic where we get double wicks, a larger range, and then our entry inside bar is usually the bottom of the range, which is a high probability area for the price to tap and just reverse and just go in the opposite direction. So let's see what happens and let's now go to the other pair, which is Aussie Japanese Yen. So let's, let's discuss actually, there was an opportunity to enter on a trade prior to this trade that I took. They did explain yesterday. So right here, I was definitely looking for a trade, but I saw a wick and wanted to see either more of a range or a nice combo like this. So what actually happened, I did not get tagged in and this flag was, let's see the lows, free. So this flag was invalid since we did not break the low and retrace. We did not break this first low, so this was an invalid flag and there was no opportunity to enter anywhere here, but I did want to get in on a nice combo trade at this point right here for it to, to tap me in since I know that the combos are really high probability on this particular pair, so the Aussie and the Japanese Yen. And then we continued up, we got a clean close, I placed a pending order, I did really really like this trade, it was a really really high probability, it tapped me in, and then what happened, price went up and then just kind of ranged around and tapped me out for a loss. So this was another loss trade, but fit my plan 100%, definitely a really really good trade, unfortunately this time it did not continue up, instead it just ranged around, took me out and is now continuing to range. So this was unfortunately a loss, but I would take it again, definitely it was a really, really, really good trade. Um, what I'm expecting currently is for it to push up and then maybe a we get a nice flag or we get a break and retest. Maybe we start a nice trend, corrective trend since the Aussie pairs do trend correctively. So I'm looking for that corrective sort of price action. I'm not looking for a descending then a reversal, I'm not even looking, well maybe I would take an ascending and a reversal since the overall price action is kind of ascending, so something like this, get a nice reversal down from this price action, but we will see what happens, currently I am just sitting on my hands being more patient, I want to see that nice momentum continue up, I want to see this, that would be my best, best possible option. Let's move on to the final pair, so the pound and the US dollar, and nothing new here, since yesterday it has still been stuck in a range, st stuck between the low, stuck between the high, just ranging around, just ranging around like this, so I'm waiting for the break of the low, or I'm waiting for the break of the high, and I'm waiting for that large momentum, nothing new, same forecast as yesterday, large push up or that large push down and that would be actually it for this pair. Nothing special, I'm not looking for any sort of a fancy setup, only looking for that huge, huge momentum that is staring me in the face and that, that I know with 100% that it's a textbook trade. Uh, and yeah, that would be it for the forecast, I will see you guys tomorrow. Let's see if I get tagged in on AU. As I said, I do now like this trade since uh, the mentor explained it. And I usually do these types of things where I, where if I see that he is in, I usually try to get in with a pending order if the trade is still valid and this one is still valid. Or the Japanese Yen took that loss, but fits my plan 100%. It was a really, really good trade. And that would be it. I will see you guys tomorrow and looks like we are starting to get some nice moves. Uh, this week and the past week have been uh, really, really good with opportunities. Just unfortunately not really getting those those winners so the probabilities the probabilities still need to play out